Okay, guys, welcome back to some pseudo roguelike action. Um, as I've continued over the last few days to be reviewing older videos I put up in preparation for a, a, a very, very long uh, video that will cover every roguelike we've ever looked at on this channel, um, I keep finding videos of, of games we played where I, in looking at the way I approached the game, I feel that it deserves another shot. Uh, there was one, I, I actually recorded a full hour-long video yesterday for a game called Dungeon Climb, which we looked at on this channel several years ago, and in reviewing that video, I found a lot of things that I was doing wrong, and I realized I was doing them wrong, so I applied them to the game, and it turns out my reassessment was right. I made it much, much further. That said, I still didn't win the game, and, and an, although the first five minutes of that video contained pertinent information that would genuinely help a new player to do better at the game than if they watched my other video. The subsequent 55 minutes were pretty freaking boring, so I didn't bother putting it up. Today, though, uh, I reviewed my old um, playthrough of Telengard, which is not quite a roguelike, but it's damned close. Um, it is a classic in the, in the dungeon crawl genre, at any rate. But when we played it a, a couple of years ago, we played the a remake version, a remake of the Commodore 64 version, and although the game is notorious for being insanely hard, and this will be a short video, we're not going to make it very far, even if we do multiple playthroughs, we won't make it very far, but although it's known to be a really hard game, I think the remake was actually harder than I was remembering it being from my childhood, so I, uh, I, um, I wanted to reapproach it with the actual original game. I found the DOS version. I'll show you where you can get it at www.aquest.com. The gentleman who made this game, Daniel Lawrence, died about 11 years ago. But before he died, he did make the game freeware, so it's totally legal to go download the original. Here I am in DOSBox. If you don't know how to run DOSBox, that's a subject for a different video, but I'm going to launch it from here. And we're going to give it a shot. Um, if I can find the window, here it is. Here I go. Not teen. That'd be a very different video. Telling. <laughs> All right. Kind of, to be honest, kind of a painful um, PC sound intro. So let's kind of skip over that. <laughs> here we go. Now I gotta move quickly here, um, to be honest, because these stats will change if I don't do anything. I think there they change on their own. We can press space until we're satisfied with our stats. We can press return when we are satisfied. Um, this uses the standard six D and D stats. Um, Strength will help you do more damage in combat. Intelligence will make your spells more effective. Wisdom will, in particular, make your heal spell, as well as any spells that target undead, uh, more effective, like the turn undead spell or that kind of thing. Well, that's pretty good, guys. Press return for him. Um, dexterity, I think, makes it easier for you to hit and possibly harder for monsters to hit you. I'm not entirely sure about that one, if I'm honest. Constitution will give you higher hit points, and Charisma makes monsters occasionally like you and just give you shit. Um, in all the time we played the previous version of the game on this channel, I don't think we saw that happen once, so it feels to me like that game, the remake may have been, may or may not have been lacking, maybe it was just bad luck. Now, no matter how you cut it, we're going to die fast, but let's just give, um, let's just give him an alphabetical name here, let's call him Alpha, because we're going to go through a few characters, probably. Let's press Enter. Here we are, let's press Return to pick up that silver, and let's go up where I can talk to you, okay. Back in the end, Okay. So, one thing that has to be mentioned about this game is that uh, there is a time limit on your moves. You cannot just... It is sort of turn-based, but if you wait like four seconds, the game will just assume you want to do nothing and proceed without you. Um, I think that was done because originally the game would have been played on mainframes or on um, what are, terminals that connected to mainframes and on, on university campuses, say. And the designer didn't want to be eating up all that computer power when, when somebody might play a game and then walk away for 10 minutes to get a drink and come back. So they made sure if you're, if you're sitting down to play this, you have to be cognizant. Although you could always go to an inn and sit here, so I don't know how much that accomplished. On some versions of the game, when you launch, if you type in the name Demo for your character name, it will allow you to ignore that, um, that time limit, and it becomes truly a turn-based game. Uh, I don't believe that works in the DOS version, though. Um, now, what is the object? Um, there is none. <laughs> it's literally one of those games where you're an adventurer going into a dungeon to get treasure for the sake of treasure. I suppose your personal object object could be to collect as much treasure as you can. It could be to get as much experience as you as you can, to make it as far as you can. Um, I'm not always a fan of games of that nature. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this game. 
partly because of that. I think I'd like it a lot more if there was a quest. Um, but that's that's what it is. Now you gain experience by killing monsters, yes. You also gain experience by taking treasure back to the surface. That's why we dodged right back to the surface as soon as I found that treasure. We now have 135 experience because we brought 135 gold to the surface. I think that's the only purpose gold serves. Um, the last thing I want to tell you before we dive back in is that, um, as I said, it's not truly a roguelike. The dungeon is not randomly generated. I used to think it was. It's not. It's the same dungeon every time. Um, where you meet monsters, where treasures placed, that sort of thing is random. And there is permadeath. Um, but that's about it. So it's not quite a roguelike. It's road. It's not even a roguelike like. It's it's, it's road roguelike likey. All right. Let's stay on this level. I'm gonna use the uh, little directional arrows to go north. Oh, level two minutes are. Let's try fighting him. I did nine points of damage. It died. We got 300 experience. He drops some gold. Let's press return to pick it up fast. It's trapped. We got two damage, and it was worth a 609 gold. Let's go back up. When you go back up to the surface, you not only deposit all your gold, but you do regain all your hit points. We now have a thousand experience. I don't know how much we need to level up, but it's a good start. Oh, we found treasure right here. Let's open it. Let's go back up to deposit that treasure. <laughs> and come back in. Let's see if we can make it past character level. Whoa, I fuck, there was something there and I didn't pay attention to it. Whatever you do, don't press keys right away. Wait until you see what's going on in the square. Here's some gold right here. Let's pick it up. Bring it back. Go up. Let's go back into the dungeon. Return. There's no treasure here. Let's press S. Let's go south and east. Stick around. We don't, don't go too far from that. Oh, we found some treasure. Press enter. Inside, there's only cobwebs. Here's some treasure. 144 gold. Let's go back to the surface if we can find it. There it is. Up. So far, so good. Um, if you watched that other video, ever, of us playing this game, we died about once every 20 seconds. Now, it's still a very deadly game, but we haven't died yet. Doing better than we usually do. Oh, level 3 Minotaur. Let's escape from that right away. E for evade. Let's try. We're rooted to the spot. It killed us. I spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> Let's try it again, though. Start a new character. Sure, that looks pretty good. Our name? Um, beta. I'm not going to go all the way through the alphabet. That would take too long. Level 2 zombie. Let's try fighting it. Did 8 points. Fight it again. It died. 100 experience points. Yeah, baby. Some jewels. Let's take that back to the surface. If I can find my way back. Oh, encountered a level 1 demon. Let's fight. It's pretty tough. Where the hell is that? Fuck. Level 1 fighter. Let's, f f let's cast. Let's try... Oh, we killed it. Never mind. I hit F right away. Get some jewels. Alright, where the fuck are those stairs? Evade. Get the silver. That thing is still chasing us, by the way. There it is. Potion of healing. Let's take it. Let's go up. Okay. When we return to the surface, at least, they stop chasing us. Give me one second, guys. So we have a potion of healing. Um, there are three different kinds of potions you can find in the game. A potion of healing, a potion of strength, and a potion of unremembered. I'll, I will check right now. A scroll of rescue. There's three different things you can find that you can use. Um, you press F1 to use a scroll of rescue, F2 to use a potion of healing, F3 to use a potion of strength. Um, strength will boost your strength temporarily, so you can do a lot more damage. Uh, healing will instantly heal you, I think, back to full. Rescue will send you back to town, but it will drop all the gold you're carrying when you do. Um, there are currently six spells available to us, by the way. Magic Missile, Sleep, Cure Light, Wounds, Light, Turn Undead, and Protection from Evil. But there are four different, no, pardon me, six different levels of spells. Oh, here we go. We need 2,000 experience to level up. Just looking at an online, um, thinger. That tells me crap. Here we go back in. Oh, level three ghoul. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're paralyzed. I don't think we can. We're dead. <laughs> I want to get to at least character level two, guys. At least. Start a new character. He looks pretty average. Let's take him. Um, let's just call him Average Dude. Because he was absolutely average. No spaces, apparently, in names. Um, stay. Level 2 Hobbit. It likes my body. It gave me treasure. <laughs> Someone said it liked my body. A plus one Elven Cloak. Okay. Let's take the gold back up, and I'll tell you about the Elven Cloak. 
So there are various magic items you can find that will definitely give you permanent um, improvements. The Elven Cloak plus one will give us a permanent increase to our evasion. So when we try and get away, we'll be more likely to escape than we would have otherwise. Not bad. Anything else I can tell about uh, this stuff? Let me see. Just so I know. So there's also uh, Elven Boots. But I'm not sure what they do. Alright, I don't see it here. Let's go back in. Let's return to the dungeon with our Elven Cloak plus one. I'm pretty, quite pleased with that. Stay. Level 2 Dragonless Evade. Oh, it likes us. Ring of Protection plus two. That's going to give us like a higher armor class. That's because we had a decent charisma. Uh, level 3 Skeleton Evade. Found a treasure chest. Let's open it. As you can see, this game is very... Oh, fuck. Evade. Nope, can't get away. And it did a lot of damage. Let's try casting Magic Missile. That's a fight. We can't, we can't cast anything else. No, it killed us. As you can see, it's a very, very random game and very, um... very deadly, no matter how you cut it. Uh, terrible strength. Screw that. Oh, I didn't mean to take him. Okay. I guess we're wizard man because he has good intelligence and shitty strength. <laughs> we're not going to last long. Stay. Let's go south. Oh, we have encountered a level 2 vampire. It did 10 damage. Let's cast. Um, let's cast Magic Missile. Did a lot of damage with it. We can't cast it again, though, so let's just try and fight. We did 5 points of damage. Let's fight again. We killed it. Let's get the fuck out of here while we can uh, still walk up. Let's return to the dungeon. From the Aged Road Inn. Stay. Let's get away from this. It's a level 3. I don't know where we are precisely. Some refuse. Let's pick it up. It's worth 1 gold. Oh, some jewels. Pick it up. It's trapped. 2 damage. And let's go up here to stay at this other end. The Goodly Ale House. When you evade, you move somewhere nearby randomly, and the um, the monster will usually still be chasing you. So uh, there's a little um, like a little at symbol. Maybe that's where the at symbol came from for roguelikes. I don't know, but it appears over here and starts moving down. That indicates it's chasing you, although I don't know what that means. Like how far it is, or maybe when it reaches gold, it'll reach you. I don't know. Let's stay. Level one goal we can take. Let's fight it. We do one points damage. Let's cast magic missile. Killed it. Let's um. It, whoa, level two dragon. Oh, it likes us. Give us a shield plus one. I'll take that. Let's go up. Yeah, and all the time we played the um the remake version. I don't think we encountered a single thing liking us and giving us shit. So, level two ogre. Let's try casting magic missile at it. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Evade. Scroll of Rescue, let's pick it up. Um, you know what, let's use it. Uh, F1. Zap. Oh, it... Okay, well, I guess we're staying. I guess it brought us back to the stairs, not up. And that elf liked our body and healed us. This thing is still chasing us, mind you. This level 3 ogre, whatever the fuck it was. Let's, f let's cast... We can't. Damn it. Don't have spell points. That cost us our turn, damn it. Just fighting it now. We should have gone up anyway to get our spell points back. We do pitiful damage in combat, as you can see. Because we have five strength. Oh, let's evade this son of a bitch. Um, level one hobbit we can fight. It did nine damage. Let's fight it again. Oh, we killed it. Let's get his treasure. For 14 fucking gold. I don't know where we are. We have two monsters chasing us now. Um, let's cast. Can we? We can't. Fuck me, we're gonna die. It missed somehow. Let's fight it. Yeah, it got us. Alright, I think you're getting the gist of the game now. There's not a lot more to show you, but I would like to get to level 2 if we can while you're watching. Um, I definitely prefer this DOS version to the remake version that I earlier played, um, if, if only for the graphics. The graphics are kind of cool. Admittedly, the other one had 16 colors. This has four colors, but I like the little animations. That's terrible. Uh, that's terrible. Although we would have had a lot of things liking us. Uh, decent. Let's take it. Um, let's call him Connor. Getting back in our ABC thing. Here we go. Get some gems. Trapped. Let's go immediately up to get our health back and to deposit that. Alright. Back down. Stay. 
Level 1 vampire. Let's cast Magic Missile. Did 10 damage to it. That's not bad. Now let's fight it. We lose one hit, one hit points. We died? Oh. The vampire may drain your experience. Look at like our experience dropped or something. I don't know what happened there, to be perfectly honest with you. We weren't that badly hurt. Now let's try again. Apparently vampires are quite dangerous. Yeah. David. Let's evade, because it's level 3. We're rooted to the spot. Let's evade again. Level 2 kobold. Let's try fighting it. Alright, we killed it. Let's get the fuck away from this thing that's chasing us. Let's go up. So it stops chasing us. Back down into the dungeon. Stay. Level 2 hobbit. Um, let's cast magic missile. Killed it. Level 1 ogre. Let's try fighting it. Oh my god. Dead. Alright, I think I'm going to play one last time. Again, this was really just to point out... The only reason I'm redoing this is to point out the fact that there is an alternate version to what I played before. Um, and if you had an interest in the game and you downloaded that one and were like, this is just too insanely challenging, this one's obviously still insanely challenging, but I personally think it's a little easier and a little more fair. Fair is the wrong word, because it's utterly random, but... Um, a little more fun. There you go. Fucking say it. It's a little more fun. It does. Uh, that's not bad. It does roll three dice for those stats, as opposed to like four dice and drop the, drop the highest. So it's um. It's hard to get decent stats. No, it's easy to get decent stats. It's hard to get good stats. Again, just doing our usual loop so I don't get lost. Let's cast magic missile at this dude. And let's fight it. Oh, let's open that. Getting a lot of gold. Oh, let's pick up the plus one armor. That's good. And a ring protection plus two. We're going to be hard to hit. More armor plus one. Um, just make sure you don't pick up something that's inferior to what you have, or you'll be stuck with it. He likes my body. He heals me. He doesn't give me back my... Have I gotten lost? He likes me. He gave me a potion of healing, which we press F2 to use, I think. I'll check it out in a second. How the hell is... It doesn't even matter where you go, clearly. It's like placing things as you walk. Oh, do you want to descend? No. Deep pit? Fuck that action. Let's evade this dude. No. Let's go randomly this way. I've obviously completely lost where it is we're heading. We can fight him. Theoretically. Take his jewels. If we can just find a staircase. We'll be in great shape. We'll be up a level for sure if we get up a staircase. Uh, let's fight him. Oh, we only have two hit points, for God's sakes. Let's fight him anyway. Get the gold. Come on, find me a damned... Uh, oh. It was trapped. I shouldn't have taken it. I'm sorry, I'm playing one last time. Because we did pretty good there. Yes, let's take that. Our name is Grant. And this is the last time I'm playing, no matter what happens. Although it is kind of fun, to be honest with you. I'm enjoying the... I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed it previously. Fuck me. I'm paralyzed. And I'm dead. <laughs> and on that note, guys. Yeah, if you want to uh, if you want to play a very random game, admittedly, this is the version I would recommend. Uh, go to www.aquest.com and check it out. And hopefully you'll uh, you'll find it to your liking and have many a brave adventurer make it to level two. <laughs> No. Alright, guys.